everyone, so today's video is a tutorial for this look and I really really like it. I haven't done too much dramatic eyeshadow tutorials on this channel yet and I really like this. It's an unblended crease for the most part and it's just a lot more dramatic than anything that I've done so I hope that you enjoy it. I want to apologize in advance for my voice. I have been sick for like a week and I think that it still sounds kind of not so great. So sorry about that but let's jump into the tutorial. I'm going to start off by priming my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original color. This is just, it's not a colored primer, it's just a basic primer. And I'm going to bring this all over my lid and up through my crease and all the way up to my brow bone. I'm also bringing a teensy little bit of this underneath my lower lash line. All of the shadows that I'm going to use for today's look are going to be in the Lorac Pro palette. So the first shade that I'm going to be taking is white, which is a slightly shimmery, just pure white shadow. It's very bright, which is what I want for this look. I want it to be super frosty. I'm taking some of this color on a flat shader brush and I'm going to bring it all the way through my tear duct and inner corner and all the way through the inner half of my lid. You want to make sure to get quite a bit of this color so that it really pops on the inner half. Especially when you have darker colors on the outer half of your eye like we're going to do here with the really dark crease. Having a frostier, whiter, shimmery color on the inner half is going to make your eyes look much bigger than they really are. On the other side of that same brush, I'm going to take the color Mauve, which is a light brown color with just a hint of purple in it. And you would never notice the purple, um, but if you look at it really closely, you do, I guess. But it's just basically a light brown, and I'm going to take this on the outer half of my lid. I'm taking this on the outer half of my eye, as well as up through the crease to help the um, darker crease color we're going to bring in later blend a little bit better. Next, I'm going to use a long, fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to take the color Espresso, which is a really, really dark matte brown, and I'm just going to take a teeny little bit of this and start to work it into my crease. Now, the key for this look is not to blend your crease color in too much like you normally would. You want an unblended crease, so I'm going to start by taking it in the outer half, and I'm going to sort of bring it in towards the center a little bit, but as I get to the inner half of my eye, I'm going to blend upwards instead of like into the color. You'll see in a second, but I'm going to make kind of an angled shadow shape on the out outer V of my eye. So as I get into the center here, I'm blending it upwards towards my brow more than I'm blending it to the side. And I'm also just smoking it out a little bit at the outer corner here. Now to help it blend a little bit without actually blending it, I'm going to take that color mauve that I used on the inner half of my eye and I'm just going to literally take it around the edge of this dark shadow. So I'm using that same brush that I used in the beginning again on the half that I used mauve and I'm going to take it around the shadow here. For my brow highlight, I'm going to take a pointed, not really pointed, but it's a very domed, um, stiff brush, and I'm going to use the color white again, and I'm going to take quite a bit of this just underneath my brow. As you can tell from this eye, I'm going to end up putting black liner all the way around my lid eventually, but I'm going to start by kind of easing into it with a lighter brown color on my bottom lash line. So I'm going to take the color Sable, which is also a matte brown, but it's several shades lighter than Espresso, and this is just going to help it look like not crazy black raccoon eyes all the way around my eyes, if that makes sense. Um, the brown's going to help it blend a little bit more, so I'm just going to take this right under my lashes on my lower lash line. For liner, I'm starting with a liquid liner on my top lash line, and I'm going to make a fairly thin line and then just thicken it at the outer edge a little bit. We're not going to wing it, we're not going to do anything crazy cat eye, just a line that gets thicker at the outer corner. Next I'm going to use my Stila Smudge Stick Eyeliner, and I'm going to take this on my tight line, on my waterline, and when I'm lining my waterline, I'm going to work it into the bottom lash line a little bit. Um, I'm not actually going to, you know, line upwards on my bottom lash line, just work it down through my lashes a little as I go along my waterline.
For mascara, I don't always do this, but I'm going to make sure to put mascara on my upper lashes as well as my bottom lashes, just because I want my eyes to be a little bit more lash heavy, I guess, to counteract the super heavy crease color. So I'm taking Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. This is a volumizing and lengthening mascara, which I really love. If you guys have watched my videos, you know I love this. And I'm doing several coats of this on both my upper and bottom lashes. So that is the eyes done. I'm going to move on to brows. And I don't want super heavy brows for this look. I already did this one. And so I'm just going to fill in any sparse spots with my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in the color Caramel. I'm going to do some very light contouring because I really want to keep the focus on the eyes. But you can definitely get away with some more contour color when you have a super dramatic eye. So I'm going to be using my NARS Cheek Contour Kit or Cheek Contour something. Cheek Contour blush? I don't know, but it's in the color Paloma, and I'm going to take this on a contouring brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. I don't love this brush, but it's okay. Um, basically, you want a brush that has the angled cut for contouring for this, because I'm really going to be pretty specific with where I put the color. So, I'm just going to take it underneath the hollows of my cheeks, or underneath my cheekbones, excuse me, in the hollows of my cheeks, just to make my cheekbones look a little bit more defined. For lips, I'm using a very shimmery nude color, and this actually has quite a bit of pink in it. And I'd wanted a color that wasn't going to be bright and steal the show, but I still wanted some shimmer on my lips, just because I feel like I can get away with so much more with the super dramatic eye. So as you can see, this color gave my lips quite a bit of shine and shimmer, but I think it looks really nice with the eye look. So this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't mind me doing something a little bit more dramatic sometimes because I really enjoy myself doing those types of looks. So don't forget to subscribe. I upload new beauty and lifestyle videos every Tuesday and Friday. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye!